Have you ever wondered how an ordinary boy from the hills of Manipur became one of its longest-serving chief ministers? That's the story of Rishan Keixing, born on October 25, 1920, in the quaint Bungpa village of Ukrul district. His early education began at a local mission school, paving the way to further studies at the prestigious St. Anthony's College in Shillong. In these humble beginnings, no one could have foreseen the influential figure Rishang Keixing would become. So how did a young Rishang Keixing venture into the world of politics? Well, it all started with the spark of the Indian freedom struggle. Inspired by the fervor of independence and the call for a democratic India, he made the bold choice to join the Socialist Party. Keixing was not just a bystander in this transformative period of history. He was an active participant, a fervent advocate for change. The year 1952 was a landmark moment for Keixing. It was the year he stepped into the political arena, taking part in the elections. His dedication and commitment to the people of Manipur did not go unnoticed. He was elected as a member of the first Territorial Council of Manipur, an honor and responsibility he didn't take lightly. This marked the start of Keixing's political journey, a journey that would shape the future of Manipur. From a member of the Territorial Council, how did Keixing climb the political ladder? The journey of Rishan Keixing, from being a member of the Territorial Council to becoming the Chief Minister of Manipur, is one filled with determination, grit, and an unwavering dedication to public service. His political career took a significant turn in the year 1964, when he decided to align himself with the Indian National Congress a decision that would prove instrumental in his meteoric rise through the ranks. Keishing's commitment to the people and his charismatic leadership were quickly recognized, and in just seven years, he was elected as a member of parliament in the year 1971. This was a crucial milestone, not just for Keishing, but for the people of Manipur as well. His election marked the beginning of a new era, one where the voice of Manipur would echo in the corridors of the Indian Parliament. But Keishing's journey didn't stop there. His relentless efforts and his resolve to bring about change were rewarded when he was re-elected to the Parliament, not once, not twice, but multiple times. Each re-election strengthened his position in the political arena, and his influence expanded beyond the borders of Manipur. higher state. Keixing's rise to power was not an overnight success. It was a journey marked by years of hard work, perseverance, and a deep-rooted commitment to public service. Each step of the way, he proved that with determination, grit, and a willingness to serve, one can indeed climb the political ladder and make a lasting impact. Keixing's rise to power was a testament of his determination, grit, and commitment to service. What did Keixing's tenure as chief minister entail for Manipur? This question opens up a world of discussion. Rishan Keixing's reign was marked by a deep commitment to the betterment of his state. One of his primary areas of focus was education. Keixing believed that an educated populace was the key to progress and societal growth. Under his leadership, numerous schools and higher education institutions were established providing the youth of Manipur with opportunities they had never had before. But his vision didn't stop at education. Keixing also understood the importance of infrastructure in the development of a region. He initiated several projects aimed at improving roads, bridges, and public buildings. These infrastructural developments not only facilitated better connectivity within the state, but also opened up avenues for trade and commerce. Keixing's reign was also characterized by his concern for the welfare of tribal communities. He introduced policies intended to uplift these communities, economically and socially. His efforts towards tribal welfare were aimed at ensuring their inclusion in the broader societal fabric of Manipur. However, Keixing's tenure was not without its challenges. The most significant of these was the insurgency in Manipur. The state was riddled with conflict, and maintaining law and order was a constant struggle. Yet, Keixing faced this challenge head-on. 
he worked tirelessly to bring about peace and stability in the state, even amidst such turmoil. His leadership was marked by resilience, determination, and an unwavering commitment to the people of Manipur. His policies, though sometimes met with resistance, were always aimed at the greater good of his people. Despite the obstacles, Qixing's leadership left a lasting impact on Manipur. His tenure as chief minister was a period of growth and development for the state. His policies laid the foundation for the progress that Manipur continues to make today. His focus on education, infrastructure, and tribal welfare has left an indelible mark on the state, shaping it into what it is today. Despite the obstacles, Qixing's leadership left a lasting impact on Manipur. His legacy is one of resilience, progress, and an unwavering commitment to the welfare of his people. In 2017, Rishan Qixing passed away, but his legacy lives on. Qixing, a political titan, bid adieu to his illustrious career in 2014, stepping down from the political stage after an impressive seven-decade run. Post-retirement, his days were filled with tranquility and reflection, a stark contrast to the hustle and bustle of his political life. His reputation, however, never dimmed. Even in his twilight years, he commanded respect and admiration, not just in Manipur, but across India. When he retired, he held the record as the world's oldest parliamentarian, a testament to his commitment and dedication. Three years later, on a quiet day in August, Qixing breathed his last. His departure marked the end of an era, a period of history that was shaped and molded by his indomitable spirit and unwavering resolve. Qixing's journey came to an end, but his influence in Manipur's political landscape remained unscathed. What does Rishang Qixing's legacy look like today? You may ask. The impact of his tenure as chief minister of Manipur continues to shape the state's political, social, and economic landscape. Qixing's policies, marked by a keen understanding of his people's needs and aspirations, still reverberate through the corridors of power in Manipur. His emphasis on education, infrastructure, and rural development laid the groundwork for a more robust and inclusive Manipur. Many of the state's key institutions, from universities to hospitals, bear the imprint of his visionary leadership. Beyond infrastructural advancements, Qixing's legacy is also embodied in the people he mentored. He was a political mentor par excellence, nurturing a generation of leaders who continue to uphold his ideals and vision. These individuals, many of whom occupy influential positions in the state's politics today, are a living testament to Qixing's enduring influence. His teachings on the importance of integrity, dedication, and public service continue to guide them in their political journey. Qixing's impact is particularly felt within the Indian National Congress in Manipur. As a stalwart of the party, his leadership style and strategic acumen significantly shaped its trajectory in the state. His commitment to the party's principles of democracy, secularism, and social justice continues to guide its approach and policies. The party's strong presence in Manipur today, in no small part, is a tribute to Qixing. follow. Rishang Qixing's life and career serve as an inspiration for many. His story is a testament to the transformative power of dedicated public service. His legacy, far from being a relic of the past, continues to shape the future of Manipur, inspiring the next generation of leaders to dream big and serve with integrity and passion.